everybody. I recently was posed a really smart question, and it is, what happens when the crisis you are managing affects you personally? So this question was given an example to make it real. Let's say, as an example, you are a city manager, and you return home from a vacation early because your town is hit by a devastating F4 tornado. Hundreds of homes and businesses were damaged and destroyed, including your own. There are multiple fatalities. How do you keep doing your job and tackle a major personal life challenge at the same time? This is difficult. This is so difficult because you're talking about a human emotion um, that is important and impactful no matter how logically we want to confront a situation. My best response for a video like this is to say, being crisis ready for worst case scenarios, so your most likely high impact, high risk scenarios, means that you've put the time and the due diligence and the comprehensive, strategic, logical, without emotion thought into the actions and communications required to effectively manage that crisis in the context that it needs to be managed. Um, when you've done that beforehand, you are a leg up massively in the management of that incident. Now, when an, an incident impacts you personally as well, it's always gonna be difficult. Honestly, it sucks. And when you're faced with this type of incident or this type of challenge, my heart goes out to you because you could be the best leader in the world. You are still human. Some crisis ready tactics that you can put into that uh, to prepare for that, to give your organization and yourself personally the best chance at success in managing these types of very difficult situations is to factor that risk into the high risk scenario and plan for it. If you're asking me the question, you have the ability to foresee this as a potential risk. And in this particular scenario or example that was given to me, it is a probable high risk within the high risk. So ask those questions now, and it can be as simple as you know that you need to call in objective help. Uh, who is that person? Do you have an expert on speed dial that you have a relationship with, that you trust, that can come in and support the management of the incident in a logical capacity because you know that your emotions present risk to the overall management because you're human? So the best answer that I can give you is to ask yourself the question, which you're doing because you sent me the question and you should applaud yourself for that, um, and sit down with your team, factor that into your high risk scenarios and become crisis ready for it. It's never an easy situation to handle ever. Emotions present risk um, because they, they take away that logical factor in some capacity and yet you can preemptively foresee that, you can anticipate it, and you can build that into your crisis readiness. I wish you all the luck with that. Thank you for your question. Keep them coming, and as always, to your brand's invincibility. And if you wanna learn more about what that means, what it means to be crisis ready, and how to build brand invincibility, head on over to melissaagnes.com where you will find a wealth of information.